Rosie? What's wrong? Joe? Okay. He says if I cancel another appointment at Planned Family's clinic, he's gonna leave me. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. What's with him anyway? Will you take me to the clinic, Jean? When's your appointment? Today at 4.30. Rosie, maybe you need to give yourself some time. Do you want to stay here for a few days? Let things with Joe cool down a bit? Like Logan needs to be around a depressed pregnant woman. He'll be fine. Thank you, Jean. Maybe. I don't know. You can take me to the clinic, right? Yeah. Okay. But, Rosie, are you sure you want to go through with this? Not sure about anything anymore. You want to hear something really crazy? Okay. Ever since I got pregnant, I can't stop thinking about something that happened 25 years ago, and today, I get this in the mail. Dear Rose, may your life always be blessed. Love, Curly. Who's Curly? It's a long story. As in some guy from your past? Sort of. You never told me about him. I never told anybody. Come on in. I'll make you some tea. It was the night my parents died. Hey now, we lassie. Stay with me now. Hi, sweetie. I'm Curly. What's your name? Rosie. Rose. Oh. Oh, well, it's like the song, isn't it? A red, red rose. Do you know it? Rose? Rose, come on. Here, squeeze me fingers. Come on now, Rose. My love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like a melody that's sweetly played in tune. Girl, all right, you stay with me now. As fair art thou, my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I, and I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gone dry. You're gonna be all right, lass. Did you ever see Curly again? No. And I never got a chance to thank him. Maybe you still can. I always thought I would, you know, someday. No return address. Do you know his real name? No clue. Mm -hmm. What was the local newspaper called back then? The Courier Times. 
And the date of the accident? 25 years ago tomorrow. Here we are. A passerby pulled the child to safety, who was then airlifted in critical condition to etc. 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 The man, believed to be local, declined to give his name. Hang on. Police report. Those aren't public record. Crimes, no. Accidents, yes. Larry was a cop, remember? Uh, skid marks, witnesses, oh, oh, here it is. First on the scene, Brody Lachlan Emerson. Brody Lachlan Emerson. Curly. Uh-oh. Your friend is in the state penitentiary. What? Curly was gentle and kind. It's not the same man. It can't be. There are probably a million Brody Lachlan Emersons out there. Nicknamed Curly. He's not going to recognize me after all these years. Wait. We're going to the prison? I'm going to need to borrow something to wear. He's no longer here. Do you know where he is? Yes. Uh, could you give me his address? If I want to lose my job. What if I said I was related to him? Nice try. All he's got is a niece, and it's not you. If I wrote a note, could you forward it to him? Who are you, anyway? Nobody, really. Curly saved my life when I was six years old. Did you ever receive any money you weren't expecting? Yes, a number of times. I never knew who it was from. How about, say, 14 years ago? Yes. Do you recall the amount? Of course. It was right when I got out of the foster system. No job, no home. The money literally saved me from the streets. How much was it? Ballpark. $846.19. Curly worked in the prison shop. Never kept a nickel for himself. Cream and sugar? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Curly was granted clemency three months ago. Terminal cancer. He went to his niece's house. My guess is old Curly's passed on by now, dearie. But if not, Tell him Beezy says hi. Okay. By the way, what was Curly in for? He killed a guy. You're not gonna go visit a murderer, are you? Well, that depends. Okay, okay. Here is the court summary of Curly's trial. 
Apparently, he approached a guy. They got into an argument, which led to a shoving match. The guy falls down and hits his head. See, Curly didn't mean to kill anyone. Hmm. Some guy named Randall Peacott. Rosie, who's Randall Peacock? Uh, uh, he was my foster father. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, I just didn't know. Didn't want to, I guess. Eight years old, not a lot of good memories from that time. My life actually got a lot better after he died. Um, he wasn't a very nice man. See, I had no idea. It's okay. Okay. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Curly saved your life when you were six years old. And apparently, two years later, he accidentally kills my abusive foster father. And then, as you grew up, whenever you were desperate, he sent me money. It's almost like you had a guardian angel, Rosie. I don't know. I never knew it was Curly. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. His niece lives here? It's not exactly what I was expecting. What? Plan Family's clinic in an hour? I know what you're gonna say. I just hope you know what you're doing, Rosie. Wish me luck. Are you sure you don't want me to go in with you? Yeah, I should be fine. Thanks, Jean. Mrs. Dowell? Yes. Hi. I wondered if I could see Mr. Brody Emerson? Uh, Curly. Yeah, um, he's very ill. Does he know you? Sort of. Um, when I was little, he actually... Hospice asked... says he won't last the night. I'm sorry. Mrs. Dowell, I am Rosie, and Mr. Emerson sent me this card. How did you find out he was here? Well, there was no return address, so I actually... Yes, I didn't want to get him all stirred up. He has been through enough. Please, Mrs. Dowell. Your uncle? I could never, ever begin to repay him, but if I could... If I could just have a moment to tell him how much he means to me... Please... Okay, come on in. Hi, Curly. It's Rosie. You may not remember me. I was just a little girl. <laughs> Thank you for the card you sent. I uh, can't believe it's been 25 years. Anyway, I, I never thanked you for saving my life. Curly? Can you squeeze my fingers? Curly? I don't think he can hear you, dear. He's been in a coma since yesterday. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose. 
that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like a melody that's sweetly played in tune. Curly? <laughs> it's Rosie, um, Rose. Rose? <laughs> yes, it's me. You're here? I am. I'm sorry it took me until now to say thank you, Curly. <laughs> oh, don't try to talk. <laughs> it's okay. Curly, you were there for me. Always. Thank you. It is well, lass. Maybe when you're stronger, we could go for a walk. And I'll take you uh, for Chinese food. Do you like Chinese food? Oh, you probably prefer Scottish food. Uh, a couple blocks over, there's a place. It's not exactly a Scottish pub, but it is called McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've turned out to be a fine lass. I knew you would. All that you did for me. You spent your life in prison. I'm nobody special. But you are, Rose. Special. To be treasured. And cherished. <laughs> and you're alive for a reason. Oh no, Curly. No. Please. No. Don't go. And fare thee well a while, and I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand miles, though it were ten thousand miles, my love, though it were ten thousand miles. Oh, and I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand miles. Look, Mommy. Oh, Emerson, how lovely. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs>